So we all have techniques for piriformis syndrome, don't we? But a lot of times we like to do it in, with the client in a prone position. It's really not the best way because you've got to go through so many layers of muscle to get to influence piriformis and the deep six uh, rotators. So side lying is absolutely the very best way to do it. First thing you've got to do though is be able to identify the greater trochanter. So put your fingers on the greater trochanter, make sure you know where, where it is because that's going to be our landmark on this, uh, on this routine. What we're going to do, notice I have Tim's knees flexed up here and his arm up here above the therapy table, so I've got him really nice and long through here, right? Because what I'm going to do, I'm bracing here with this hand, and I'm going to come in. I want you to start by coming in on the greater trochanter softly with your forearm and just rubbing around on it to make sure you know where it is. And this is the skin drag. Drag the skin of the greater trochanter straight down toward the table and pin it there. That way you're at the, right at the attachment of piriformis and the other deep six external hip rotators. So once you have that there, just rock around a little bit on that just to see if you can feel anything. One of the hip rotators might be a little more fibrotic or tighter or whatever than the other. Okay, so I'm identifying something a little bit higher here on Tim, so I'm going to do something that, uh, that to help give it a better release, and that is drag it down. So I'm going to come in for um, hand up, and I'm going to do this technique. I'm going to drag this down, all this tissue down. Notice how my body weight, I'm just doing this. Got it? Okay, now I'm going to ask Tim to pull up on the therapy table. Why would I do that? Because it puts an activating force all the way through his lats. You know where the lats go, all the way down to the sacrum. So it's pulling that sacrum up, and I'm not letting it. So now I've got a really nice Golgi tendon organ release on those tendons that are attached to the greater trochanter, the external hip rotators. And relax, and when he does, I just drag it down. Notice a little wobbling here. That's a counter force. You're on tendon, so you're not kicking in a stretch reflex. You're not on the muscle belly. You're right on tendon, working right around there. Stay as close to tro trochanter as possible so you have your best mechanical advantage. One more time. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And that is an excellent way to work up and down the external hip rotators and identify what's tight and what's nice and moving well. Try it.